Oh, hi. <clears throat> My other videos have been quite geeky. This is geeky plus because I'm now moving into the do-it-yourself where you don't just put stuff together but you actually start drilling and destroying stuff that you actually bought. This is a <coughs> wooden grip from Small Rig. They uh, built these rig parts uh, which are really affordable. Uh, rigs have been super expensive. If you look to Sakudo and, and other brands like Tilda, you have to pay quite a sum of money. But these guys make it affordable for the rest of us, so thanks for that. But my project is that I'm really missing the possibility to hit record easily. So I have to figure out how to build in a record button in this. So I went into some sort of a brainstorm, brain wind. Yeah. And tr I'll just set that one on quiet, yeah. Don't, don't interrupt. Thank you. Right. Back to this. I want to figure out how, how I could trigger the camera to record. And the camera is the Fujifilm X-T2. Damn it! Ow! Ow, ow, ow! Ow! Oh. I have a wooden floor and I get splinters in my feet. Damn it, it's an old apartment. And it's dark outside and it's winter. It's uh, melancholic and stuff. Yeah. Back to this. No more phone, no more splinters. Thank you. I wanted to figure out how, how I trigger the record button. So I thought, well, when I take stills, I often use the tripod and this uh, release thing via USB. So I thought, well, if that one can take a still picture, it might also be able to trigger video recording when I'm in video mode. So I took the camera, turned it on, and put in this trigger called RR90, which is a Fujifilm soft release or uh, shutter release thing with the cord. And it actually triggered the record, but it would look sort of annoyingly amateurish to have that sort of gaffed to this one. And I, I like it to be a bit more cool and professional looking. Mm -hmm. 